Today's the day, ladies and germs. It's happening. We're fixing the bus. Or so we think or hope. Okay, Chase is gone now. There's him. So he is currently underneath the bus trying to figure out where there's like four or five hoses go. Because they used to run all the way to the back of the bus for our heater, that was, like our passenger heater that was in there. But since we don't have that anymore, we don't need it and that could be creating extra heat and or things. Excuse my technical and mechanical terminology, it's not very good. But the air fan is out, so it looks like I can see our, our new engine. That's what cost us like 12 grand. Joy. The coolant's draining because we gotta switch out. We're gonna try to take the hose because right now it goes all the way to the back and all the way to the front. So we're gonna try to chop that and put it around so that instead of going like 30 feet, it's going like two feet, you know? And it'll take a lot of the pressure off the pump. We're also putting a new pump in. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this fix our cooling issue. My job today is going to be prepping the bus for a nomad gathering. Van lifers, bus lifers, RVers, car campers. Everyone's welcome at this gathering. We are headed to Wyoming tomorrow. We're gonna take a nice slow trek, kinda test the bus and see how our heating and cooling thing is going after we fix this, but I've got high hopes. And if it doesn't work, then at least it's one more thing on the bus that's brand new and we can check it off the list of what could possibly be going wrong with our overheating. But yeah, it's going to be a prep day of what we do to get ready for a nomad gathering. So I'm going to go through the whole house, deep clean it, even though it'll get dirty there. I'm going to, you know, check our deep storage food, go through our pantry, because I think we're going to try to host some, like, potluck family-style dinners with everybody, since we're so excited to see everyone. But, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm really excited for Wind River Rally. I think it's going to be really fun. This is the first time they're ever holding it, so I'm sure there'll be some kinks they need to work out. But what I've checked out on the schedule it looks pretty, pretty sweet. I'm really hoping that this fixes our our issues we've been having because like after dropping a new motor in we were like oh this is, this is great nothing nothing's gonna go wrong and then we dropped a new motor in to fix our our piston head which got cracked and the four cylinder on the engine that basically the spark plug exploded and then we started experiencing overheating issues like right before we went to Baja and we were like screw it we're going to Baja anyways like we planned this and it's happening and there wasn't too many passes Thank goodness, um, there's only a couple of times we really had to pull over when we were overheating in Baja, but... And if you haven't seen any of the Baja, go check out our whole Baja playlist, let them play through. It's a pretty good time, our first trip internationally, so to speak, with the bus. Even though Baja's... it's Baja, California, so it's basically an extension, but it is Mexico, so it does count. Well, that's the old fan, new clutch fan. So this piece is what we replaced. So hopefully that, and then we just put the new water, this is the old water pump. Doesn't which, look that old. Yeah, well this is sealed inside. I mean it still works obviously, but hopefully the new one works a little better and we're going to shorten that line. So I think I figured out where it's coming out, so we should. There's basically like two pipes that come out, an inlet and an outlet, and then it goes all the way to the back of the bus, all the way back. So we're just going to make it shorter. One of the only reasons we're able to do our, this ourselves and not be charged a ridiculous amount of money at a mechanic is because Joe is very, very familiar with Fords. He had his first Ford truck at 15 and he took it apart for fun to see how it works. So we're lucky we have a Ford and we have basically a Ford expert on our side. Otherwise we'd be paying like an arm and a leg. So thank you so much, Joe. We appreciate you helping us with this because otherwise I don't know if we would be able to do this right now. We'd probably have to work for like two more months to be able to save up for a uh, labor fee at a shop. So we is lucky. We is very thankful. We're very excited. I'm hoping this is what fixes it. This is what gets us back on the road and feeling super confident in our motor and our house and our tiny home that moves on wheels because we've been just kind of really over the whole Oh, it's overheating. Oh, this is going wrong. Oh, you just dropped a new engine in it. Oh, it's also, it's still not working, but 
yeah, we're, we're incredibly thankful and incredibly happy that Joe is just like solid when it comes to Fords. So happy we picked a Ford. Happy it's not a diesel because it would be really, really hard to work on if it was a diesel and those gas prices for diesel are crazy. Having a solid engine is like probably number one that I think for peace of mind of tiny living in a vehicle, like if your house doesn't like run properly, that it's not, you know, super functional for traveling. Uh, we're caught on this hose. I see that. A second there. I think I got it on there. Oops, sorry. Oops. <laughs> All right, part of prepping for a nomad festival is we're going to do some potluck, like potluck style meals with everybody because there's nothing better than sitting down with a group of friends and sharing some food. So I actually went into the house and, well, I went into the house because my mother, as soon as I was like, I need to downsize my kitchen, she dips my waffle iron. So she has my waffle iron. So I prepped a bunch of chocolate chip waffles for everybody for one of the mornings. Got some extra syrup too. So a little food prep. We're also trying to plan like a Mexican potluck night. So I think I might make a street corn salad because that sounds delicious. And then Jen gifted me some pantaloons. So the rule is if you get a piece of clothing in the bus, this goes for me or Chase, you get rid of something. So I'm getting rid of these black pants to replace them with these black pants because they're a little stretchier, a little more comfortable, and they're actual like denim material, so Nico hair won't stick to them. So I'm getting rid of the other black pants to keep my gen pants. The prep continues. The bus is now done. Um, took it for a tiny drive. We would take it for a longer drive and go up like some inclines and stuff, but because gas is so expensive right now, we're already estimating we're going to have to spend like $600 just to go to Wyoming. We're not going to go too far and we're just going to hope it works. If it doesn't, then we're back to square one, but at least we have a brand new water pump Hi. and a brand new clutch fan. Thanks to this guy and Joe. Joe, yeah. thank you so much. We really appreciate you being here. Yeah, very expert. nice having somebody help that knows what they're doing because I have not done those parts before, but I got like a good portion of it started so that when he showed up, it was just ready to go and uh, they're all in. So just letting the engine go to full cool, going to top it off and you know, fingers crossed, we're all good to go. So, Opie's in the bus. You know, we, uh, we's crushing it. Prep. I need to take a shower, which I'm about to do. Um, otherwise, I think I'm pretty much good to go, minus groceries. Hello. Coffee, coffee pods. Maybe I should have ordered those two days ago. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're going to be We're going to have to stop at the Target. We're going to maybe French press it, because those coffee pods are expensive. Mm. Make I'm sorry. We're trying something because Chase's back has been hurting really, really bad. And we're going to flip our mattress or swirl it around to try to get the, the part that's less cushiony near our feet. We can't flip it over because it's not the same on the top as it is the bottom. So I'm going to set the camera down and help it. I'm not saying it's going to help, but if it has even the smallest chance, I'm willing to try. Oh, I've been crying, obviously. It's really hard to leave Nico. Really hard. It just kills me every time we do. It's only a week long trip. This is the shortest trip we've ever taken in the bus, but it still just hurts. Um, we made the decision. It was close, Wyoming, but we made a decision not to bring him, bless you. Cause it's gonna be really hot there. He doesn't like crowds of people. And you know, the temperatures on the farm are gonna be much better for him, like 60s, low 70s versus like 90s, upper 80s in Wyoming. So he's gonna hang with Graham Graham and I'm gonna continue to cry for probably the next like one or two hours about it. But it's for the best. I can't be selfish and drag him with me. Cause when we took him on a long trip last time, he got really sick. And while it's not ideal, because I just, I want him ev like to come everywhere with me, it 
it just it's not feasible it's not smart and it's not fair to him so he's gonna hang with Graham Graham on the farm while we're gone and we'll be back next week and I can't wait to squeeze his little face kiss him on the stripe and love him but I'm excited we're back on the road I just have to cope with the leaving Nico part because it just it hurts it hurts guys but I'll see him soon and we're gonna have lots of fun this weekend hanging out with all of our nomad hooligans so onward We did it. We are in Wyoming. Met up with our besties because they left earlier today without us, but we found them. You can never hide, guys. You can never hide. Um, I unfortunately definitely just figured out that I had nail polish in my pocket that wasn't quite sealed and exploded all in my pocket and then it was red of course like burgundy so it looks like I just murdered someone so I'm gonna get this off my hands and I'm also quite hungry so we're gonna get settled a little bit and Jen and I have been menu planning like planning our menu for Wind River Rally and we've got like a group of people so we're doing like potluck night and then we're tag teaming sides and sandwiches and it's gonna be really fun I got really excited when I started menu planning because feeding people is just like, I don't know, it's like a swan song for me. I, li I dig it. I dig it. So, oh, I'm going to get this nail polish off my hands before I touch the camera too much. Wait, you're trying thing? to make this hard on me, aren't you? Quit. I'm trying to get you in I'm the sorry. frame. This is so my back hurts and I can barely move. Every time I move closer, she moves further away. So anyway, if you'd like to be in the video, come closer. This is what I'm dealing with. I don't want to be in the video anymore. Oh, baby. <laughs> okay, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. You smell like cake. Yeah, I ate some cake. Mm, some cake. Kenzie didn't want me to put cake in a bag, and so it was melting, so I put cake in a bag. Oh, you did? Put the whole cake totally in Totally ruins bag. the aesthetic, but it fell apart anyways. But you are. Wait, oops. I was napping, and then our friends showed up. So that's kind of cool. So random. Like, <laughs> of all, like, we're in a whole state of Wyoming. We go to a campsite because the renegades got here and we were like, we'll go meet them. And then we hear a honk while she's napping. I'm on a call. I'm like, who's this asshole honking? And I look out and I'm like, <laughs> oh, it's Bunny and Dee and Riley. They're all here. And they were just like, we stayed here last night. And I was like, how crazy. Like, small world. Right. What are the chances in this big giant? Like, all the places to camp in Medicine Bow National Forest. But... At least we know now, because we were going to have to text and Instagram and do all the things. Be like, all right, homies, we're caravanning in so we can all park, but... Yeah, now we can all just roll in together, so... We're all together. We'll hopefully meet up with Regretless tomorrow, and then we'll all roll in, or we'll meet them there, one of the two. Oh, yeah, she says we can have some fridge or freezer space if we need it. Ooh. Girl, we might, take fancy you, bus. we might take you up on that. That fancy bus. I'm like, can I shower? Can I shower in there? <laughs> wow. Somebody's getting yuzy. I'm just going to invite myself in and get naked in your bus regret list. <laughs> there you go. All right, well, I'm going to continue chilling for a little bit because I think we'll probably be doing social stuff for the next week. So I'm going to suck up our little bit of time to chill. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see you in a little bit. It's actually kind of chilly here, and that makes me excited because I can just cook and not have to worry about making our house super hot. So I have some leftover Tim Tim from my dad because we went to dinner at his house last night. So I'm gonna chop up this chicken and then do like either like a chicken Brussels kale salad or I don't know, I'm gonna use the vegetables I have in the fridge because they're getting like a little weird. But that's my chim chim, I'm gonna chop up. And then I gotta get the veggies out. It feels good to be on the road. On the road, cooking food. Chase is chilling in bed, just gonna watch his show. I paused it so he can't watch it right now. <laughs> But he's going to watch his show, and I'm going to get cooking. Yeah, it's going to be delicious. Yes, I'll be right there. Thank you. Jerry's back. She's still so fine. Good. Yeah. Not you. So it's not good. Uh, no, just help the thing you did today. Yeah. Dinner was delicious. I went to the neighbor's door, which 
is awesome when you're a nomad because normally you don't have neighbors when you live off grid. But the renegades are in front of us and I was like, Jen, do you have any lemon juice or lemon? And she had a half of a slice of lemon and that really did the trick on top of the kale, I'd say. But dessert will be wonderful. It's going to be hideous, but wonderful. Along with some leftover chicken that my dad sent us with after dinner last night, he gave us, well, he didn't give us, Chase managed to volunteer himself for an entire, well, it was half of it, a cake, a chocolate cake, which we then had to put into a bag, otherwise it won't fit into our fridge. So we just have like a bagged cake that we're definitely gonna get into and it's gonna be delicious. Our other friends are just, Okay, you can't really see it, I have to keep moving. They're over there. So that's Ladybug Out and D and Riley Does Life. Riley has a YouTube channel as well and she is so close to hitting a thousand subs. So go show Riley's channel some love and her dog Tyson who is like definitely a very standoffish character. He's like a little, a little dick, but he's really cute. So go show them some love and we're probably gonna call it early tonight. Uh, it has been the first travel day for us in a very long time. And I'm a little sleepy. I had a headache earlier and nail polish exploded in my pocket. So it's been a start to a journey. The best news is the bus did not overheat on the way here. It got hot, but it wasn't doing what it was doing before. I think it's handling itself and like regulating a bit more, but there's definitely, it's still like over, you know, it's getting warmer. Not overheating though, which is a nice feeling. <sighs> Yibyib's doing the dishes for me. Look at this guy. Yuck. She cooks, I do the dishes. Scrub a dub dub. Get in my tub. Look at that water usage. Look at that. Try to keep it, keep it, you know, to very little minimal water usage. Because what did we do this week? We, we ran out of water for the first time, given like we've been kind of stationary and using water a little more liberally than we normally would. That tricep. Eat it. Elbow grease, yibbers. Elbow grease. But yeah, Chase it. Whoops. Yeah, Chase is right. We definitely ran out of water. Whoops. We definitely ran out of water this week. Which is crazy. After one year on the road and one year being married, we've hit a lot of one year anniversaries anniversaries recently. We should probably do like a one year one year life on the road video. But yeah, ran out of water, been married for a year. Feels great. And we gotta hit the road for a mini trip. This might be the only like out of state trip we make this summer because gas prices are just like exponentially rising. And the bus doesn't get great gas mileage. Not this it, year, but this summer. This, did I say year? Yeah. I meant summer. I meant summer. What is it supposed to hit? Seven dollars? That's that's a estimation by one of the business websites. It doesn't mean it'll happen, but... It's an estimation. Might hit seven dollars, which means that we're not going anywhere. Because that would be close to a dollar a mile for us. Is that, is that a correct? Almost, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, we are working on saving anyway because... Baja is coming around the corner before we know it, and we're gonna go a lot longer this time. Good morning. It is Wednesday, and it's like probably about nine o'clock in the morning. We have just enough coffee for me to make one French press, and we'll stop at a grocery store soon. Your boy is roughing it. My back is just not getting better. So I'm gonna get through this week because we have all the events and stuff set up, and then when I get back, I'm gonna, if it's still like this, probably go start hitting all the places to help out. I'm not a big fan of chiropractics, but maybe, probably try like positional therapy, physical therapy first, and then if I have to, I'll go chiropractic. So, I'm a little tired, still making some coffee. Sweet Yibs is watching Regretless's uh, video in bed. But our battery's about to die, so I will see you guys in just a little bit. French press. Hopefully delicious. I don't know if I had enough coffee, so it might be weak, but we're gonna find out. It's a stiff one. Jesus. Not the best fresh, Frenchy pressy. All right. 
Let's hope this is good. So yeah, we're gonna go sit out there, have some coffee, see if everybody's up and moving, and then, I don't know what we're doing. I don't know, I think we're camping here today, and then driving there tomorrow, or maybe we're driving part of the way today and camping somewhere else, I don't know. I have to get supplies. Because we're all gonna feed each other. So cute. Good morning. <clears throat> yeah, I need supplies. I need like corn for a lote salad. Jen told me this really weird trick that I can just wrap my corn in tin foil and put it directly on the stove top. And for science, I will try it. Tell us more. <laughs> All right, well, that was exciting. Um, we are going to go have our morning, and then maybe we'll shop. Maybe we won't. I don't know, but we'll bring you along with us. Bye. be on the way to our chairs okay well we are packing up to leave our little cliffside nice lookout camp spot and we've all got to hit like some errands they've got to get dog food and we have to get like basically all of our food beer and munchies for this event that we're doing because I don't have anything for the potluck which is happening tomorrow night and I need to grab some stuff because I'm making an elote salad a street corn salad but I'm gonna get everything sorted, packed away, locked up, and then we're gonna bounce out. I'm driving, cause Chase is really not doing so hot with his back right now. So let's let's get this bitch wrapped up. We stopped for groceries. Kenzie did an awesome job, and we are getting ready to head to the casino actually, cause that is the closest place we can park for the night. Let me start by saying produce in Colorado is expensive. I just went in and got two giant bags and spent $100 and I feel really good about my produce baskets. Look at how aesthetically pleasing this is. Chase is gonna lay in the back and try to rest his back and I'm gonna continue driving like the, the bad bitch I am. So, catch you at the casino. We made it, and the Yabbies was sweet and drove the whole way. I did. So we basically split days. I drove all day yesterday, she drove all day today. I miss driving the bus, honestly. He doesn't let me do it that much because he likes to be in control. But she did really well. She got a little warm at one point when we were going up the Continental Divide, but then regulated. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling confident as of now. More confident. I'm feeling confident, don't. She used to not overheat at all. So there's still something going on. Wind River Rally Day! Tally ho! Ah. I'm actually out of bed before Chase is. That's big. Could you hit Look at this guy. Good morning. Good morning. Are you ready to go play with friends? Yeah, I am. We did not pick up coffee pods for our super bougie Nespresso machine. Um, because I don't carry them at Walmart. So I'm going to make some French press. And I also got rid of our electric grinder on our last trip out to Mexico. I was like, this is taking up space and we use coffee, coffee pots. So Bart gave us a little hand grinder. I'm going to try to figure that out. So good morning. It's, it's the day. Today's the day where we get to go play. We are drive. Oh. We are driving through the town of Hudson. It is itty bitty. That was it. It's adorable. Ah, oh, it's so cute. And it looks like we're gonna be right in town, like next to a cemetery, which I'm super into. But these are, yeah. We have coordinates, and we're going off of the coordinates. This feels very strange. Now we're pulling into like a neighborhood. <laughs> I think we're gonna go to the outskirts of the neighborhood, presumably. 
So far, I'm very intrigued. Very intrigued. I don't know. I'm really hoping. We have a lot of our friends that are from Gutted that we made at our first Van Life meetup. This is now our third. We went to Schooly Palooza. We might have parked on the wrong side because we just got weird, weird vibes there. We still had our little tribe, but everyone around us was a hot mess, I would say, in a polite way. But I've got a good feeling about this one. I think it's going to be really fun, and it seems like they're going to have a lot more organization in the event itself just based on the schedule that I read. So, tea and tattoos, hot air balloon rides, a slip and slide, which I can't wait for. And yeah, we're still driving through a neighborhood. I'm gonna like pull basically like- So we're gonna like- We're gonna be like this. Okay. Yep. And then they'll go this way. So just pull around and face down a little bit and I'll kind of face with you. Why aren't you just pulling right up here? That's what we're doing, but, but like, oh, you mean leave her there? We're gonna pull in this way and then open our awning this way. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Let me um, see if There's I... a giant rock right there, just so you know. You There's a piece of concrete right there. I, I thought that they're gonna pull up Okay. I think well, this might be the hardest part of the event is figuring out how we're gonna park. Cause I'm not gonna lie, this is very hilly right now. I think there's no way all three of us are gonna be level at the same time. We'll see, we might be able to accomplish it, but yeah. Good times. I think parking hopefully will be the most stressful part of this entire event, but hey, it's done. We did it. I think, I think we did it. Hey! This is Riley Does Life. I was telling yeah. you yesterday to subscribe to her channel. She's so close to that oh, thank one you. <laughs> So close. And her super lovely, but don't touchy, dog Tyson. <laughs> Tyson has big dick energy and you don't touch him unless he accepts it. And he doesn't accept it usually, so. The parking conundrum continues and I'm just gonna stand out here and wait to open a beer. You know it's gonna be a good day when you put on the burger socks. So I'm gonna put on my burger socks, I'm gonna throw on my cowboy boots. Because I'm not the only one who was wearing cowboy boots and I brought them, so babooya. Okay, we had to move once again because turns out the renegades were parked on a red ant hill, so. Riley very kindly moved for us. Oh, this is bus is so loud. And I think we're gonna be good now. Oh, this is a good time. I'm not gonna lie, it smells very sweet here. I think there's like sweet sage grass or something going on. It's gonna be an interesting event, y'all. Very interesting. I just said y'all because I got my boots on. I think we did it. And I think we all deserve a beer now. Beer, tequila, whatever your thing is. We did it.